today we will see an important topic in fmt which is dentition now there's nothing much to understand here it's very much theoretical and you have to rectify it so let's make something to simplify it now on the screen i have written the dentition for a child which is 2102 that is incisor canine premolar and molar so these are the two incisor canine no premolar and two molars right so i have written for one side now let's see the age at which these teeth erupt so starting with the first one the first one to arise is the lower central incisor then the second one is the upper central incisor so there's a sequence start from this then move upward then move in right then again move right so this is the sequence now what do i mean so the lower central incisor arrive erupt at 6 months then this at 7th month then the lateral incisor at 8th month then the lower lateral incisor at 9th month so these four are clear then remember again first molar at first year second molar at second year so this is the first molar at first year this is the second molar at second year and what is remaining the canine so it is midway 1.5 year is it easier now let's see again starting from the lower central incisor in the sequence 6 7 8 9 then remember this part first molar at first year second molar at second year and then in midway 1.5 year the canine will erupt right next is the dentition in adult the sequence here is 2 1 2 and 3 so the first one to arrive is the first molar which erupt at 6 years so this is the first molar it will erupt at 6 years and then go in a spiral manner this is the spiral so go like this so 6 years then this first incisor is a 7 years then this is 8 years right same likewise 6 years 7 years 8 years go like this then proceed with these two which are the two premolars so after 8 this is 9th and 10th before coming out of this spiral and going to the lateral most molars there is one in between the canine to the 11 years now you are out of the spiral the second molar it will erupt at 12 to 13 years and then the third pair of molar that will erupt at 17 to 25 years right so what did we see we started from the first molar at 6 years then going at in a spiral seventh the central incisors then the lateral incisors at 8 years then the two premolars at 9th and 10th going laterally we are going laterally only we started from the spiral and then we are going laterally then before coming out of the spiral complete this canine which will erupt at 11th year and then we move on to the molars remaining molars so this at 12 to 13 years and this at 17 to 25 years now if we have to see that 
temporary teeth and the permanent teeth and the total number of teeth at various ages what we can do is we start from 6 years then 7 8 9 10 11 12 right so let's say this is the temporary teeth this is the permanent teeth and this is the total number of teeth so at 6 years how many teeth were there so we told at 6 years we have the first pair of molar right so temporary were 20 because if we see this by 2 years all the teeth have erupted in the child so 2102 into 4 that is 20 and then at the 6 years the first molar have erupted too so 20 temporary and 4 permanent so totaling to 24 then at 7 years going by the spiral the first incision at 7 years so 8 this becomes 16 now keep subtracting minus 4 in temporary and keep adding plus 4 in the permanent teeth because we are doing this for only one axis and it has the four axis this 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 and this so this also totals to 24 then 8 years the lateral incisors have erupted again making it 24 so keep on decreasing 4 and adding 4 here so 8 4 0 then 16 20 24 so totals to 24 but at 12 years now this is 0 but we told the second molar they are erupting at 12 to 13 years so at 12 year it becomes 28 and when we approach 70 to 25 the temporary is 0 the third pair of molar have erupted too so it's become 32 i hope this is clear now there is one more portion which is the Gustafson's criteria now how to remember this so just remember Andhra Pradesh say CR Raju uh, you can also remember like if you forget what this mnemonic is for so Andhra Pradesh is CR Raju ka son so from son you can now recall it is Gustafson so Andhra Pradesh say CR Raju A for attrition P for periodontosis S E for secondary dentition, C for cementum opposition, R for root resorption, and the next R for root transparency. Now, which is the most important one is the root transparency. It is often asked which is the most important criteria that is root transparency because it is very important to maintain transparency. In any work whatever we do the must the most important thing is to maintain transparency so here also root transparency will be the most important criteria so this was for today I hope it will help you to remember this and I would suggest you to draw these in your copy in your own words and understand it because then it will be very easier to recall so thank you very much, keep studying and all the best.